Oh, hey. Did you bring this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Here, here it is. Thanks. Hey, do they know we're going to do this? What? Are you crazy? There's no way they would let this stuff out in the wild like this if they knew what you were trying to do. All right, well, kind of makes me nervous. Uh, how, how much do I owe you? I mean, how much is it? I can't sell this stuff. It's not going to cost you anything. But get out of here. What is your deal? I mean, just be cool. Be cool. Don't worry about it. All right, well, thanks, and uh, I'll see you later. You're not going to see me later. I'm never seeing you again. You know, the bad acting aside, uh, got to apologize for that. But uh, that little intro sort of illustrates what I think two of the three companies are going to kind of think about what we're going to show you today. Uh, I'm Kevin Purcell. I'm with Theotech, and we show you how to use church and Bible technology in order to build the kingdom of God. So if you like that sort of thing, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, at the end of this video, if it was helpful to you, hit the old like button and uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified as soon as we post new videos. What we're going to show you today is the brand spanking new version of Accordance, and it has a feature that will allow you to see and to view the books that you own in Logos and also Word Search and really any Bible software that has an online presence. And so go ahead and check it out. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire up Accordance and see what, what we're talking about today. We are inside Accordance 13. That's right, the brand spanking new Accordance 13. And what we're going to do is show you a new feature that came in version 12. But I want to share with you how you can use your Logos Bible apps that are online, the online version of Logos and the online version of Word Search Bible, as well as really any online Bible study site. In fact, I bet you who are watching this use online Bible software, you know, online web apps and websites. If you do, please make a comment down in the show notes and let us know which sites you like. That'll really help out this community. So I've got Accordance Chapter 13 open. I've created a workspace. I've got my Bible. I kind of use the New King James most of the time now. I've got some uh, notes open here. I've got it open to Ephesians Chapter 4, verse 20. And what I want to show you is what you do, how you create this over here. This on this side over here on the right side is your browser. So I'm going to go ahead and close it just so I, I can show you what it looks like. In the new version, there's a, a new close icon right up in here. So you might open up a Bible. And for a lot of you, when you open up a Bible, it's going to actually look like this. Uh, maybe without the notes. This is your info pane. But I like to work without the info pane. And so I've got my Bible. I've got my notes open. If you don't have them open, I suggest that you go ahead and open them or maybe create a new note on one of the verses that you're studying here. And then the, the thing you want to do is you want to open up a web browser. Now there's two ways to do this in Accordance 13. Uh, you notice right up here, I've got a button on my toolbar called Web Browser. And if that's not there in your installation, all you gotta do is right click, hit Customize Toolbar, and you're going to find it somewhere on here. Mine is right here, and you just kind of drag that up. I've already got it there, so I won't do that. It's right up here. The other way to do this is you can go to File, New Tab, and then in New Tab, go all the way to the bottom for Web Browser. Click that Open, and you're good to go. I have it set to go immediately to the Accordance Forums. But what you want to do is now... Uh, you can either create a new web browser tab if you want to leave your main web page there, or I replace it in this workspace. And for Lagos, you go app.lagos.com. Now, for people watching this, I know they pronounce it Logos. Yeah, they started the company, but they pronounced the word wrong because the Greek word is Lagos. All right, so app.lagos.com. That brings up my version of Logos on the web. Notice I'm already signed in up here. If you're not, you'll have to sign in. And then you want to do is create another web browser tab and add, if you have Word Search as well, then app.wordsearch.com. 
bible.com open that up now here's one of the annoying things about the word search web app you're going to have to sign in every single time it won't keep your sign in so hit the sign in button and go ahead and sign in with yours i'm not going to do that this time because we'll just work in side logos now notice i've got uh, ephesians chapter 4 through 24 what's the main thing you're probably going to do inside uh logos's web app while you're opening the accordance uh, bible study software chances are you're probably going to want to look at the books that you have and so maybe what you'll do is you'll run one of their guides let's go to a passage guide because the passage guide is one of the qu quick ways to get at your commentaries so we'll enter Ephesians chapter 4 verse 20 through 24 so we've got all of our commentaries so let's say I don't have the Pilar New Testament commentary in here so I'm going to open it up I'm going to increase the size of the text so you can read it scroll down here to verse 20 and we'll just read through here in sharp contrast to their former manner of life the readers are reminded and you just go ahead and read it if you find some information you want to record in your notes then you might come over here into the notes and hit enter and it'll open up the browser the note uh, editor and I found stuff in Pilar okay I'm not gonna leave that there because that's not what I really want but that just shows you what you can do hit update and it saves it and you can go over here let's say you want to open up now the word biblical commentary so again you can read through here find any um, resources you want now what's cool is if you would like this humes de uc putos emothete ton christon you're impressed aren't you <laughs> Uh, what if I s copy that and I want to know maybe I don't know what this means so I right click it and in Lagos it's going to come up with a the Lagos pop-up uh, menu pop-up when you right click and you can do stuff here but what if you would like to search for this word over in accordance well we have to turn on compatibility mode in order to do that see where it says enable compatibil compatibility mode it's going to redraw the screen we're not at the exact same location as we were before but let's just say I want to search for this word now I right click it and notice the accordance right click pop-up shows up so I can do a research and maybe I want to research in all my Greek lexicons over here in accordance click that there we go look BDAG we can learn about the word Christ uh, Big Kittle we can learn about the word Christ in Lua Nida I think that's how I say it anyway you can find this word in all of your instances uh, it'll show full text but maybe you just want to look for the excerpts in other words uh, the full text will search for every instance in that book where the word Christo shows up but you may want to do this show excerpts that's where it's going to find when there's an article about the word Christo and uh, so you'll you'll find that there so that's probably the best benefit to using Lagos or word search inside of accordance Bible software you can search for a term so let's take the word Christological let's do our research what does that word mean well you know most of us know what that means but let's just say you don't hit dictionaries and it's going to find the term Christological in all of your English dictionaries inside of your accordance library this zone over here is your accordance this over here is accordance and this is your web browser zone showing you Lagos and word search so that's pretty cool and that is why I don't think word search or Lagos would like you to be able to do this <laughs> because uh, they want to keep you in their walled garden buying all of their your books from them but if you're like me and sometimes you'd like to research in accordance and you want to use a commentary that you've got in word search or one that you've got in um, logos and you don't have it in accordance this is a way to do it inside without having to have two programs open
In fact, you don't even have to install. Hey, look, I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, awesome. Remember, just go ahead and hit the like button. Also, if you will, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll know when we're putting new videos up. And, uh, you know, this is a love of mine, so I really enjoy showing you church and Bible technology. Our purpose is to help you build the kingdom of God using tech. And that's what Theotech is all about. I'm Kevin Purcell, so until the next one, bye-bye.